Alrighty, well, over the next two weeks, thousands of primary school teachers are meeting to voice their concerns around the government's education agenda. A key proposal under the spotlight is performance pay for teachers, which has the New Zealand Educational Institute saying our world-renowned public education system is under attack. Its president, Ian Leckie, joins me now from Wellington. Good morning, Mr Leckie. Yes, good morning, Petra. Can we talk, there's this perceived move towards performance pay by the Education Ministry in, in its latest collective contract negotiations. What's wrong with that? Well, performance pay actually isn't on the agenda, um, but sitting behind the agenda is the government reform uh, movement and, and what's happening overseas. Uh, quite clearly, mechanisms are being talked about uh, through this, this negotiating process uh, that allows and could allow performance pay to become one of the elements of this broad government agenda. So you're absolutely right. Performance pay is being talked about. Tell us what is wrong with it. Well, there isn't an offer on the table around performance pay, I can say that. Um, details inside that agenda, but quite clearly the government agenda in and around creating um, competition, as we're seeing through um, league tables and, and competition between schools, uh, choice as we're seeing with the introduction of charter schools, uh, every child being treated the same, and of course the only measure of success being test-based or, or um, score-based accountabilities. That's the big agenda that we are talking to our members about through, through our paid union meeting process. So are you saying that if teachers were paid based on the performance their students achieve, the, 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 the scale of their success, so to speak, in an exam or a test or a national standard, that that would undermine New Zealand's education system? Absolutely, and what we see overseas is uh, are those countries that have introduced this agenda um, have gone backwards in their world standing. We want our members to recognise the elements of that. We want them to recognise the elements of our claim that, in fact, do put uh, a quality public education ag agenda right to the forefront. That's what every parent deserves for their child in this country. Are, are you thinking about front-footing it with the Education uh, Ministry of Education and saying, look, we can reward teachers in these ways, or these are the best ways to encourage teachers to teach well? And that's absolutely been our approach. We want the, the most skilled, we want the knowledgeable, skilled and, and the best teachers uh, in front of our children and to do that, that's been very much a, you know, part of our approach and quite consistently um, we have taken that as part of our discussions to the Ministry and to the Government. Do you think that there is a way of rewarding teachers who really, not necessarily in terms of school results, but in terms of education, the fact that they are raising a child from a really substandard level to a standard level, a, a teacher that inspires students, is there a way of rewarding them, of keeping them engaged within the education system and saying, yes, we value you? Absolutely, and that has been part of, of our approach to these negotiations, is a career structure that does recognise skill and expertise. I mean, let's face it, we want the best teachers in front of the hardest children, and to do that, uh, we need to recognise their skill, we need to recognise their expertise, and we want them in those classrooms. So how do we do that? Do we just pay them more? Well, certainly we need a mechanism that allows the best teachers to stay in classrooms instead of move on, moving on to other positions of responsibilities. So a career that recognises skilled teaching in the classroom and, and a focus on, on teaching and good results for children is always part of that. All right, can we talk about um, NZEI's call for a full public inquiry into the Novo Pay debacle? Uh, is this going to be discussed at the meetings over the next couple of weeks? Uh, no, it's not, but certainly um, we've made a public call to say uh, it's an absolute fiasco, the introduction of this $30 million pay system. It's riddled with errors. We're into our sixth pay uh, coming up, t hopefully tonight, uh, all things being equal. Thousands and thousands of teachers uh, still are not being paid correctly, and quite clearly, uh, public interest would say we would need a full public inquiry to say what's wrong with it, uh, who's responsible for this for this debacle and what do we need to do to fix it so that people get paid correctly on the day. And Nikki, what is the impact is it having on schools of the principals that you've spoken to? How are they coping? Huge workload. Uh, every school are spending multiple hours, uh, office staff and principals spending multiple hours trying to get errors corrected, trying to get teachers' pay correct. And, of course, we're heading towards end-of-year shutdown 
processes, beginning of year start-up, uh, that's another huge hurdle to face and quite clearly uh, Novapay, the pay system, is just not up to it. All right, Ian Leckie, NZEI National President, thank you.